the head of the starting field in the Great Cow Harbor Run presented by Capital One Bank, the elite man led by four-time winner number one, Mo Trefay. While the elite athletes come from across the country, for the main field, this is an event where you run with your neighbor and meet the family at the finish line. We've sponsored this event for almost two decades at this point, and I think it's that hometown bank, the, the feel that we bring to this community. And, you know, uh, so many of our people live and work in this area, and we're just really proud to be here. Today, we're going to be donating more than uh, $20,000 to the Special Olympics. We also have proceeds that will benefit the Veterans Administration Hospital right here in Northport. And then we have proceeds that will benefit the local food pantries. So for us, it's just the celebration. It's, you know, the day is done, the race will be over, and we'll be able to give those gifts. So, very exciting. Number six, Matt Leno eases into the lead on the first turn while the pack warms up. There are numerous waves released at 60 second intervals, with seating based on estimated finish times. And there's no rush to get to the James Street Hill at two miles. Mo Trefay is tucked in, unlike his usual position at the point. On his shoulder, Fernando Cabada. Dustin Emmerich does the heavy lifting at the front. The main field is gone. Now time for the kids' 2K. Best to keep a safe distance when their gun goes off. Number nine, Jonathan Peterson joins the front of the downhill mile, passing the one mile mark. A nice crowd greets the leaders as they pass the finish area and head up the first hill. Up the course a bit, and number seven, Andrew Carlson leads the chasers, with Kabata finally reeling in Lano. Right to left for the women, it's Maddie Suver, Alicia Williams, and Wendy Thomas. Fernando Cabada suddenly finds himself alone at the front and pushes to finish what the field gave him, with Brendan Gregg the only one in eye contact. Downtown is ready, and so is the Capital One finish tape as Fernando Cabada savors the final yards. Fourth year in 2011, he comes back two years later for the winner at 29-32. Alicia Williams catches up with Ladia Albertson Junkins just in time and powers away to a prestigious Cow Harbor win. The field enjoys this celebration of road racing here in Northport. It's the largest 10K on Long Island. It's all about giving back. I mean, I live on Long Island myself, and, and for me, this is, this is a huge opportunity to see how we can influence the community and give back to everyone that's here. I mean, there's, there's people from all ages. The most important thing to me is to be able to, to donate to Special Olympics. It's, it's near and dear to my heart. It's, it's just nice to see Long Island pull together and, and do this. This is a very unique race. One, the course with the hills, it's very challenging. It's very scenic. It runs along the uh, water, the harbor, uh, the elite runners that we uh, draw on this race. The hometown folks, the community, they look forward to this race. You know, everything that we can do, we give back to the community. A downtown Northport Main Street welcome for all on race day. Pretty good, grueling, but good. Oh, uh, it was fun. The thing to remember is that for every uphill, there is a downhill. It makes it great. Go, go, Harbor! Uh, there's a lot of hills, and uh, it's tough. And that's all I got. The Great Cow Harbor 10K, presented by Capital One. American as apple pie, with all the trimmings.